we want breakfast. We didn't want all of this. Now at 6.30, going away hungry. Why breakfast didn't go as planned at area IHOPs today and what federal agents had to do with that. Lots of unanswered questions tonight about why the FBI raided local pancake houses this morning. Good evening, I'm Sean Hegarty. And I'm Laura Emerson. Here is the news for Tuesday, September 20th. We are talking about IHOP restaurants in two states shut down by the feds. Let's start with the locations. In the Toledo area, the one on Talmadge Road, West Central Avenue, Airport Highway, the IHOP on Fremont Pike in Perrysburg Township, all raided, plus the ones in Finley, Lima, and a location in Evansville, Indiana. Some of these raids started before sunrise and lasted several hours. Here's Fox Toledo's Allison Brown with what we know about the investigation. Let's start with what we do know. In several of the searches today, dozens of cardboard boxes were taken out of the restaurants and loaded up into a U-Haul. As for much else, we aren't getting it. One FBI spokesman says because of the sensitivity of the case, more information will not be released. Several of these restaurants are owned by the same people. Mazen Kadir, Camille Mahdi, and Terry Elk, otherwise known as Tarek al -Kafrawi. The three are associated with the other restaurants except for the Lima location, according to the Better Business Bureau. No information is listed for the Lima location. And all this stuff going on and we can't get in to eat? Oh yeah, we're shocked. It's unbelievable. We want breakfast. We didn't want all of this. FBI Special Agent Scott Wilson says the search warrants executed today are sealed. That's why the agency will not be able to provide information as to what was taken or what investigators were looking for. The process was time consuming, several hours out here at the Perrysburg Township location. The FBI, IRS, and the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement were all involved. Fox Toledo did receive a statement, though, from IHOP's corporate office. It says, we were informed today by one of our franchisees about the events at his restaurants in Ohio and Indiana. We are working to gather the facts and have been in touch with the federal authorities, although we have not been briefed on the matter. We are cooperating fully with the authorities as we seek to gain an understanding of the situation. IHOP has a parent company called Dine Equity. A spokesperson says the investigation does not involve terrorism. Meanwhile, the FBI will not say if anyone has been arrested. Allison Brown, Fox, Toledo News. We did visit the home of Elk in Perrysburg, but no one was home to make any kind of comment. We're also told the others do not live at the homes for the addresses that we found today. Stay with Fox Toledo for continuing coverage on the IHOP raids. We'll keep you updated on air and we'll post any new information we get on foxtoledo.com along with our Facebook and Twitter pages.